What up? It's your boy Zach. I'm back with another one, guys. Is it creatures? What? But yo, Voldarian Thrill Seeker, if you have not seen this, it's an insane card. It does facilitate and totally justify, um, you know, a creature based is it list, which is super weird. Um, we are playing some insane cards, including four copies of Terror of the Peaks, one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, you can't really go wrong with what we're doing, guys. I mean, we have four Monstrous Rages, four, four Voldarins, and four Terror of the Peaks. So you kind of can get the gist based on that. Now, some other cards in here are absolutely critical as well. Like, Malcolm is insane. Um, you can run four copies super easily of this card because if you have the extra copy, you can, first of all, you can hold it. You can flash it out at an opportune time in case, like, maybe your Malcolm gets removed. But also, you can just pitch to the bin, right? I mean, it is a two power flyer, and I mean, two damage from Terror of the Peaks is not so bad at instant speed as well. But really, this is an early game facilitator, right? And we do have another Fairy Mastermind to sort of complement that same idea, same as Spectral Adversary here. And the cool thing about this card is it's going to keep your important pieces alive. So let's go back to Voldaren. This is going to, you know, basically, you put this ability onto something, right? Um, so this guy enters the battlefield. This triggers, right? They try to remove your guy. Well, pfft, you just pop him to the face again. I mean, they can only take so much damage, right? Um, it's actually kind of insane. And if you swing with your Terror of the Peaks, or you you know you swing with your Malcolm a few times, um, your Aether Channeler is returning things to the hand, so even he can get in pretty easily, right? Returning um, permanents that are in the way to their hand, right? So once you get in a few swings, you're kind of in business, yo. And Fading Hope gonna clear the way as well, help you scry in, in addition to your Malcolm and stuff. Our NT is sort of doing the same thing. It's also helping us grow our creatures. This is like seriously strong. These are like very good cards, man. Very good cards. Mirror Hall Mimic, dude. Like, check this out, right? Say you have a Terror of the Peaks and you just keep creating more Terror of the Peaks every turn, right? It does sort of take a long time to get there, but it's a flexible card. You can cast it back for its disturbed cost. Not too shabby dabby do. You can copy their big, huge thing and bing, bomb, boom, you win, right? So very cool. We have one shore up in here to keep our dudes alive as well. So um, sort of the same idea as this card, keeping our guys alive. Again, Aether Chandler, very flexible, very good three drop. You could go with this Kite Tightsail Larcenist in here. Um, very good card as well, but I actually like this one a little bit more. So let's go with that. And now, yeah, this can create, you know, an opportunity where they have to spend two cards to your guy, right? Because you could get the shield counter, right? Say you copy your Terror of the Peaks, you get a, you know, you got a Terror of the Peaks for four mana with a shield counter. You're in business. If, you know, say both of those stick around, you lay any creature, you win, right? So pretty insane. We do have some big red bombs in here, right? This is going to do, say you lay this when you have a Terror of the Peaks on the field, well, four damage from its ability, and then four damage from, no, you know, you know what I'm saying. This guy's ability, Terror of the Peaks ability. That's eight damage to the dome, plus you have flying creatures, now two of them. It's over, dude. Um, Blade Coil Serpent. A lot of people don't like this card. I think it's actually rather good. Um, you can get the swing in that turn as long as you spend two red pips. It will get at least plus one. So it'll be a 6-4 swinging with Trample and Haste. Plus, it'll be a 6-power guy hitting to them to the dome, trampling in. This guy, if he does stick around, is flying over for five. It is unstoppable. Well, Darren is just absolutely an insane card. Super, super good right now. It has been winning a lot of tournament type of settings. Trumping Carnosaur, you've seen this one. If you get a good Discover Trigger, boom, you win. It's also a seven power guy to go with your terror. I mean, come on. You can't really go wrong there, dude. We're just playing huge, insane creatures. So, All Seen Arbiter. Probably not the best choice or whatever, but to be honest, I really didn't have like too many more copies of these cards. And I, you know, I've been waiting to, waiting to use this guy. Um, you know, we'll have a few cards in our graveyard. Say you give like a creature in minus three, whatever. Maybe it's like a flying creature in minus three. So that could keep our relatively, you know, small power four flyer um, alive, right? Or maybe our Malcolm can swing without having to worry about dying because we're, you know, creating a situation where their solution now has zero power um, and it's also just more card filter it is a five damage flyer so it is pretty justified i would say um but yeah i really like blade coil in here man it's really good dude um yeah and we don't have too many cards on a four drop slot so we're running two Ottawaras, right in case you get another one um we have so much card filtering with malcolm that it's not really a big deal we're not going to really get in a situation where getting that second Ottawara is detrimental to us 
Um, and we do have a good amount of legendary creatures, so that can be casted for even cheaper. Highly recommend that. And then the Restless Spire, again, more card filtering. We don't have much card draw, but our draws are going to be potent. Um, and, you know, we just need to get up to that, like, that five mana mark, right? And then we scry, and we search desperately for the six, and then we lay one of these bombs. And we should be winning at that point, okay? We do have a Sokenzin in here. Very good. And, uh, you know, one of these, one of those, one of that, and one of these, okay? The Surveil, you know, if I had more of these, probably run these. Um, we don't have much like graveyard recursion, but surveillance is very strong in and of itself. So, is it creatures? What is going on? We actually win a game with this. Um, right, say you steal their flyer that's causing you trouble, then we get a flyer. Terror the Peaks triggers, hits them to the dome. You get an extra copy of that same thing. Now you got three creatures plus a dome trigger. I don't know. It's incredible. I really don't know what to say about this deck. It's absolutely um, overlooked right now. Um, there's so you know such a breadth of options in standard but um is it is fun right now does not to be you know spells and making your slick shot um you know the flyer the slick shot guy um you know up to 20 power and instantly bopping them which is a viable strategy with will darren um and the monstrous rages and all of you know twin inferno for example is another card um giving that guy double strike things like that that's very viable but this is also just as good for real um so you know if you don't have some of these cards there's definitely different ways to take this don't feel like you have to have like undercover operative you don't necessarily have to there's tons of cards that can go in this four drop slot um i can't really think of any off you know top of my head by name but definitely check out the slot there's definitely a lot of things you can do um you can like take away you know a few copies of maybe the early game um and have more of a card draw thing in the center or maybe you're just card drawing with this um and that's maybe enough for you and sort of just coast to the end so uh i don't know what i i don't know i'm all over the place but i just wanted to show off this deck because it is the start of a new season it's a fun one and i'm having a lot of fun making videos so thank you so much if you guys haven't heard magic foundations is coming out it's going to be absolutely insane and um that is going to be a semi-permanent set till at least 2029 so get ready for a lot of war elves get ready for omniscience get ready for a few other cards i can't think of right now that are absolutely insane so much love i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it if you do and have a great day i will see you in the next one all right game one we have our you know our really good two drop into our really good three drop so can't complain you know a little mana heavy whatever but it's gonna be okay we can lead with this. And now the other good thing, right, about Malcolm is that he is going to filter our hand. So definitely run the four. You can, you know, if you can. And then um, you can always just pitch the extra copy of Malcolm into the bin. Um, which is usually a good move. Sorry, my volume is always like max, so that's great. So he's going to go ahead and scry. We'll wait a second so that he doesn't know what we have. Okay, always wait to the last second, right? Give him the least information. Boom. So you can see how good, like, Voldaren is um, in combination. And I think we may as well go ahead, get a four power flyer. Like, it's not bad just in and of itself, right? Um, we could pitch the second blue, but we might want that. Let's get rid of the... Let's get rid of the Aether Chandler in this situation. You know, being that looks like to be an enchantment, a little bit of a slower paced thing. Um, we could, of course, like return this, but then they get the value again. So and I think we just keep this second copy, right? Okay, so they had some removal. They were kind of forced to use it there, which is fine. Um, hmm, we kind of want to save this for our terror that we just got, right? Hmm. Let's do this. Will Voldaren or Voldaren? We will swing. Bada bada. Um, we will hold our monstrous rage. Now, the idea is we can, if they try to get rid of one of these, we can just at least pop them to the dome. Um, if they, for some reason, play something that gets them a 1 1, we can take that out, but that's not really our main objective. That is a show, ladies and gents. Interesting, you know, you can make some interesting lines here. Maybe we should have kept this guy. 
but they would get the value again. It looks like they may have some counter action, which is rather annoying. Huh. So let's play it safe. We could go for our terror, but that kind of is walking into something a little scary. This does have first strike, but so does this. Let's do it. We have the monstrous rage. We can make we can turn this into a clay. So we swing bada bada swing. Uh, we do not want to do this though. Okay. Yeah, it's my turn, man. So I get the first strike. Eee, okay, that's a card that exists, but it is six. We don't quite have this six yet. Especially if this gets removed somehow, then we're really in trouble. If we were to keep it on top, right? That'd be really bad. So. Um, okay. Hmm. Didn't expect to keep this this long, but sort of plain scared being that I don't want to like overcommit. Probably not the best move to play scared, but you never know. You know, you never know with blue. They kept three mana up, which is a scary amount of mana. Interesting. So. We could do, let's do this. Big guy, bop. So we at least get off our damage, right? Six to the dome is no joke. Interesting, another one. What's up, ladies and gents? Um. Yeah, let's copy. Usually we'd want to copy our own guy, right, to get the shield counter. But in this situation, since it is a 4-4, four -four, it's a little awkward. The Vigilance is really cool because it'll force them to make the block. Um, depending on what they do this turn, we can make our 4-4 four -four bigger, right? So that'd be pretty good. And Terra might just win as a flyer in the air. Kind of They're destroying our lands. Interesting. Let's get that second blue. Um, can't go wrong there. We got the auger. Okay. Okay, so we feel pretty safe. They don't swing. by us a turn. We do get the Manet. So, let's see what they do. To just a simple swingle pringle. Okay, they do make the block, which I think is fine. If there's ever a turn to lay this, it's now. Okay, this can come in. We can hit them for three to the dome ski, McLone ski. Um, and then we could terror. Hmm, interesting. Depends on what we get. Basically, you know, most of our deck is creatures. As long as we get, like, one more creature here, we should be in business. They're going to slow us down, though. Very nice, very nice. So I think the best play... While we played Scared early, we will not now. Perfect. It does resolve. So no counters, nothing fancy. Right, we knew a little bit more about their deck. I'd be pretty surprised if they countered that. So, yeah. Good stuff. Yikes. The farewell, you say. Um... Voldaren itself. Perfect. Now, the Malcolm's nasty. This is nasty, right? We've been holding, we've been patient with this, which is good. It's gonna matter, actually, here. Um, okay. Hello, come again. What do you have for me, sir? Oh! The memory of the Dalu. Oh! A beautiful. So this ain't too bad if they try to lay like some chunk blockers and what not. Curious to see what interaction they have. They are going to take five. Do they want to? I mean. Oh. Okay. 
So, right, they would have taken um, eight. We would have popped our Voldera in for three more to the dome. I did split the pressure onto Malcolm in case something weird happened to our Voldera. Very good. It's a lot of damage. Real fast. Flying, action, pinging to the face. Um, really good. This deck probably calls for one more showcase. Let's get to it. One more. Okay, game two. Let's get it. We do have early interaction. We have a really good um, two drop into a really good three drop. Um, actually, just a perfect curve, right? Four, then five. So, couldn't ask for much better. Um, Inti is a good card along, like, same kind of thing with Malcolm, where it's sort of helping us filter the top. Whereas we don't have really any good card draw, we are expecting to have good draws, right? Being that our deck is um, pretty well made, um, creature focused with all that interaction with a top card, we should be able to do it. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. I read that wrong. Um, okay. Do we walk right into this? Yes, we do. What do they got for me? Presumably it dies. Presumably it dies. I mean, yeah. I suppose we didn't need to necessarily, but it is one more card out of their hand. That's going to be good. Actually, that's a perfect card to return to their hand. So we lay our three mana, we return their three mana investment. That's a swing of six. It's not too shabby. There's a very flexible card. That 1-1 one, one blocker can be huge too. Um, definitely. So, works really nice with Terror of the Peaks too. Extra little ping if we need to do something fancy with that. So, what's really insane here is this. We will copy our own guy. This guy gets a shield counter, which is going to be incredibly powerful against um, a red base deck. Being that they don't have any white cards that maybe exile or something. Um, but it looks like their removal is going to be red, perhaps, type things, like damage. They really want to lay that. <laughs> okay, good. Right, so we yeah, we have that extra shield just in case. Now, terror. Do we just lay the terror? I can't think of a reason not to. Right? Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Terror is the best card ever made, so that's always good. Okay, very nice. Yeah, that extra damage from the red source. Ah, yes, yes, and it's still here. Beautiful, beautiful. Um. I mean, we could go like insane balls deep vibes. However, no. We're fading help it back to our hand, most likely. Um, maybe fading help another thing. It sort of depends. What are they going to do here? I like that. We will do that. No life for them either. We don't necessarily want that right now. Now that card um, is pretty good. It can protect like our Tarek, protect our important pieces to help us finish the game. It does have flash as well. So Zinjarz is very nice. It came out a long time ago. You probably, you know, a lot of people did miss it. It's not like incredible or anything. Um, yeah, only creatures. So let's flash out the Falcon, the Falcon, the Malcolm, and we will allure those scoundrels. It'll be nuts. Scoundrels will be allured. Interesting. I don't know what that does, but it looks kind of bad. This is about to discard card. Okay, if you have no card in your hand, case solved. You need to up your upkeep, discard your hand. Eh, not a good thing. I don't know. Card advantage. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna get their things. They're gonna try to remove Malcolm here. One damage to target opponent. Okay. Extra little sus on that. Eh. Okay, perfect. Let's, hmm. right, it can't really, you know, that's the thing, the only thing about this card is we're not running like, well, we are running three copies, I guess, now. Um, but it can't copy your Malcolm, really, without it being sort of wasted. Um, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Okay, interesting. This could be huge, right? So, let's actually get rid of the Monster's Rage. I know it looks a little weird, but... I think that's the move. I think we just be patient here. Unfortunately, we don't have like our creature land, which would be really good right now, right? Our restless uh, spire, I believe it is. Okay, they're gonna try to get in some major, major demiojes. Um, huh. Let's return it. Don't want another Malcolm. Perfect. Scry is huge. All right, a lot of interaction with the top of our deck. Okay, they're gonna want to swingle Pringle. Madingle in here. Um, yeah, we'll just splash this out. They, they, you know, they're tapped out. They know it's coming, so. 
They're gonna go ahead and swing. Not so scared whatsoever. Uh, okay, sure. Let's cast this for five, just to be cool, right? So, five will make Prival. Does it untap? No, I don't think it does. But we are casting for five, so we get the copy. I'll take it. Um, this we might pitch. Yeah, we will pitch this. Um, maybe they lay a huge creature though, not super silly. But the Aether Channeler should clear the way here. A um, little bit more reliable consistency-wise here. So let's see what they do. This is definitely the turn. Very important turn. You know, you can see if we had our creature land, we'd be like in business business. Okay. Falcon gets removed. We do get a monstrous rage to go with our swift spears that we stole. So that is always fun. They have no blockers. Good game, baby. <laughs> too perfect, man. Absolutely too perfect. So, okay. Hmm. Should we do one more? Nah, we'll call it there. Now, the reason I'm calling it here, I want to make that magic foundation video. I said I was making it yesterday, but like for real, before I go to sleep tonight, I'm making this magic foundation video. A lot of cool news coming. Um, semi permanent set. What? Um, if you haven't heard, right? Um, car these cards that they're going to introduce in this like super important set, they're going to be around until at least 2029. They said, right? Insane stuff. If it's the first time you're hearing it, um, I know it's like. What did you say? No, but like, um, seriously, there are some cards revealed, like a lot of War Elves, for example, on missions. <laughs> These are going to be in standard until 2029. So buckle your seatbelts, kids. Um, and I think we sort of did showcase what we're doing here. Terror of the Peaks is obviously going to be like a big bomb, big bang boom. Um, Boldarin obviously puts the counter on things and you can just like sacrifice it. Terror of the Peaks ability is sort of doing the same thing and you can do all of this sort of at instant speed um and then of course monstrous rage helps facilitate our size things like malcolm and inti are going to just be incredibly important for filtering um we did get to show up blue sun's twilight so that's a lot of fun so i think we showed off the deck it is the start you know fresh start of the new season so i want to mess around a little bit and maybe try to grind back up to gold at least and then get back to platinum and diamond and everything. so cool I hugely appreciate it, guys. I know I'm going back and forth between different games and whatnot, but magic is always my main stay, my main squeeze. But um, much love. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like it. That would be great. And subscribe if you're new. You know what I'm saying?